Hi, my name is Todd Lamley and welcome to Module 3 of the CCNA 14 Module Series. This module is IP addressing, subnetting, variable length subnet masking, and summarization. Just from the name of the module, you can see that this module might be somewhat long. At over an hour, it's going to be. So we're going to do this one in somewhat chunks where I'm going to say, okay, you're going to take a break. Now you should take a break. I'm also going to have some lab time in between different modules or different sections within this module just so you can break this up. I'll also tell you to stop, go back, and go through this section again. Because this module, although long and has a lot of information, is very important. So we must have this foundational knowledge to be able to move on to the other modules in this series. So let's go ahead and take a look at IP addressing, subnetting, VLSM, very link subnet masking, and summarization. Let's start with binary to decimal conversion, and then we're going to do hexadecimal to decimal conversion. We need to understand this is just foundational material. Again, now we're working through Chapter 3 of the CCNA Study Guide. If we look at a binary number, it's going to be 8 digits long. Each digit having a value from 1 to 128, starting at the right, moving left, doubling value as we move left. So example, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. I'm also going to call these our block sizes, and we'll get to that term in a minute. If I have no bits on in a byte, my value is 0. Notice I have 4 bits on here. And what I'm going to do is take where there's 1's, and I'm going to add up their value. Now, it's really easy when up here I have the bit values. So you don't always get this in life, but in this case, we have the bit values up here. So we'll just add up what? 8, 4, 2, and 1. So that's 12, 2 is 14 plus 1, equals 15. In this example, we have 64 bits turned on. The 16, that's 80, plus 4 is 84, 85. Now, I always like to start with the largest numbers and then move to the right, adding the smaller numbers. But it really doesn't matter how you add them up. That's just my ease of use. Let's take a look at another one. 128 plus 2 is 130, plus 1 is 131. On this one, it's 16 plus 4 is 22. Now, let's count up this, lar this last one. And you're going to see that these are also our subnet mass that we use. And it doesn't matter if we're doing class A, class B, or class C. Subnet mass always are the same. They just move into different octets. So that's the good news. So once I teach you my method of subnetting in a certain octet, and we'll just start with class C, of course, then you're going to learn that this subnetting, this method, can easily be moved to any octet, and the answers are always the same. I'm going to show you how easy this can be. However, I can rest assured, you can rest assured that you will go through this module more than once just for practice. And as a matter of fact, having this module is a really great tool because subnetting is kind of like going to the gym. You can't be in shape by going to the gym once. You have to go all the time. So to be in shape with IP, we need to practice all the time. And this module is going to be great to watch over and over and over again, especially maybe if you can't sleep. That's a joke. Anyways, we've got the 128 bit on. Plus the 64 bit is 192, so let's just add all these up. So 128 is a subnet mask. If I have two bits on, that's a subnet mask then, and 128 and 64 is 192. If I turn three bits on, 128 and 64 is 192, plus 32 is 224. 128 and 64 is 192, plus 32 is 224, plus 16 is 240. 240 plus 8 is 248, plus 4 is 252. Plus 2 is 254, plus 1 equals 255. Now the numbers go for, in an any octet go from 0 to 255. That's 256 numbers. Now what I just read you was turning on one bit at a time from left to right without skipping bits. That's actually how we get our subnet mass. 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, and 255. That's all the mass you can have in any given octet. Let's go ahead and now and learn how to do hexadecimal to decimal conversion. So if I take these same numbers, this is called a byte because there's 8 bits. So what I want to do is break this up into nibbles. And I mentioned the first module, had you watched that, I'm not sure, um, that a nibble is 4 bits. So here's one nibble, and here's the second nibble. So the numbers only go from 0 to 15, which is kind of nice, so they can't get too big, so it's really easy. 
my decim decimal, uh, I'm sorry, hexadecimal conversion number here uh, to decimal, hexadecimal is zero, zero, so my answer would be zero, zero. Now on this second one, if we look at the second line, my first nibble here is definitely a zero. There's no bits on. But look at this one. One, 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 that's eight and four is 12 plus two, that's 14 plus one is 15. In hexadecimal, you can't use the numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, because we only can use one bit, zero or one. So when we get to 10, we're gonna call that A, 11 would be B, 12 would be C, 13 would be D, 14 would be E, and 15 is F. So in this case, let's take a look here again. This answer in hex would be 0F.